I lucked out. The receipt for the Dragonfly collection was right on top of the pile. There were three pieces, a belt, earrings, and an anklet. Early had bought them last month at an auction for more money than I'd see if I retired a dozen reps. I didn't know what was on the disc, but the way Early had hidden it, it was bound to be dirty laundry. How you doing, General? You got a warrant to show me or you just breaking and entering? What's on the disc, Early? Hey, hey, I don't hassle you about your private life. Put it down, McCoy. Must be something pretty juicy. Your girls know about the cameras? I got you. You want to trade. The disc for... what? Let's hear what you got. Hmm. What do you say you and I have a drink first, hmm? It, whoa! Cough up some dirt early, or I'm taking this disc downtown. You want Victoria, is that it? The girl with the rep friends? I can give her up. It'd be a hell of a score for you, General. Four, maybe five skin jobs. Sit down. I'll throw in a night with one of my dancers. Sit down. Scorpions. The poison acted fast. He was dead before he hit the floor, and he'd taken his dirty little secrets with him. Someone had set him up, but my guess was that the bastard deserved it. Still, it was a hell of a way to go. I wondered if real scorpions could have killed that quickly. The poison acted fast. He was dead before he hit the floor, and he'd taken his dirty little secrets with him. Someone had set him up, but my guess was that the bastard deserved it. Still, it was a hell of a way to go. I wondered if real scorpions could have killed that quickly. The poison acted fast. He was dead before he hit the floor, and he'd taken his... Someone had... Still, I wonder... Nothing else there. Early had the entire place wired. He even had cameras in the dressing rooms, and I bet the farm he was using them for more than security. Early had the entire place wired. He even had cameras in the dressing rooms, and I bet the farm he was using them for more than security.
main frame, and shooting range. Scanning video disc. One enhanceable image found. Adding enhanceable photographs to Kaya database. Early Q's nightclub. Early, you sick bastard. Give me a hard copy of that. Where have I seen that before? Give me a hard copy of that. Uploading personal clue database. Downloading mainframe clue database. Clue database transfer complete. Look, but don't touch! How old are you? Early's waiting on me. Sod off! You've got no appointment, and you've got no warrant.
That strange. I didn't hear a knock. I just wanted to say, wow, you were awe-inspiring. Well, thank you very much, Mr... McCoy. Uh, Ray McCoy. Is there something I can do for you, Mr. McCoy? The flowers are beautiful. And extremely rare. They were a gift from my lover. That's a pretty card. Please don't touch that. It's private. Sorry. That's such an unusual belt, is it antique? They say it's from the last century. Those little creatures have always been my favorites. Dragonflies? Yes. And the whole class that contains them. Tell you the truth, I'm from the LPD. I'd like to ask you a few questions if I could. Is this about early Q? Because I could tell you. Did any other pieces come with the belt? I'm sure I don't know what you mean. There's a little test I'd like you to take. Do you think I'm a replicant? Is that what this is about? If it's early Q, I'll help you any way you want. Not exactly. This is insane. I have a family, a daughter for heaven's sake. Look, I'm willing to testify against early Q. A replicant wouldn't do that, would it? A replicant doesn't necessarily care about what happens to another replicant. Then you must be a replicant. I'm sure I'm not. How do you know you're not a replicant? Did you ever take that test yourself? Sure I did. Long time ago. Don't replicants go around with false memories? Maybe somewhere along the line you killed a human, took his place, and your superiors don't even know about it. Interesting idea. But I'm still gonna give you the test. Reaction time is a factor in this, so please pay attention. Where do you live? I don't see why you need to know that. You're seven years old. You managed to steal several marshmallows from the kitchen and sneak them back to your bedroom. You're caught and your father spanks you. I don't like marshmallows. Pretend you do. All right. My father wouldn't spank me, and I won't pretend that he did. You see an oversized book with pictures of exotic animals on the cover. The title is Big Game Hunting in Zaire. Curious, you flip it open. There's a picture of a man standing with his foot on a dead cape buffalo. You find yourself fascinated. You keep paging through it, seeing picture after picture of animals laid to waste, each more gruesome than the last. That's not true. I'd burn the book. You're in a desert, walking along in the sand, when all of a sudden you look down and see a tortoise. It's crawling towards you. You reach down and flip the tortoise on its back. The tortoise lays on its back, its belly baking in the hot sun, beating its legs, trying to turn itself over. Is this going anywhere? But it can't. Not without your help. But you're not helping. Why is that? I am so helping. Yeah. Yeah, you probably are helping. See? I told you I wasn't a replicant. We're not finished yet. A man dressed in rags approaches you on the street and asks for money. I'd give him some, if I had any to spare. You're having dinner at a friend's home. Halfway through the appetizer, he tells you that you've been eating goose liver pate. I'd leave. You wouldn't report him? No. Not if he was my friend. Like my briefcase? Hmm? Department issue. Baby hide. 100% genuine human baby hide. That's horrible.
What's the most embarrassing thing that ever happened to you? Probably this test. No, seriously. Yes, seriously. Are we finished? Almost. You're on a farm. You get into the pen to feed the pigs. In their excitement, the animals knock you down into the mud. In this outfit? Using a butcher knife, you slit the throat of the nearest sow. You're covered in blood as you stumble to your feet. My God. You're insane. I just read them. I... I've got to get out of here. Stay right where you are. You're suddenly very afraid. Why? Do you mean, what makes me afraid? Answer the question. I'm afraid of dying. And of spiders. Your questions. They're disturbing. Positive result. Subject is human. Test terminated. You're sick, Lucy. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Father told me to watch out for you. I'm not gonna hurt you. Have you always lived on Terra? Yes. I always dreamed Terra would be so special and beautiful. Birds and flowers and trees and blue water. Like on the video. So different from everything on well, where I was. Why'd they kill Runsitter's animals? I didn't want them to, but Father, he was so angry, and Sadiq said Mr. Runster deserved it for treating me that way. It's so funny. I'm worth less than those animals. I guess I should hate them, but I don't. So, all the animals were real? Mr. Runster also used to buy some of the others. Artificial. He used to tell me that he was protected, that they came from somebody close to the source. Who else was there that night? Father and Uncle Zubin. Can you take me to your father? I don't think he'd like that. I don't know where he is, anyway. Come with me. I've got a test I want you to take. Help! Help! He tried to touch me! This a troublemaker? Put your hands on top of your head. That's right. Ray McCoy, Rep Detect, BR-61661. Never heard of you. I report to Lieutenant Guza. Call him. I work for you? Let's go. Where's your squad car? Shut your mouth. Which precinct are we going to? I'll tell you which one. This was no precinct house I'd ever been in, and I thought I'd been in them all. The grunt to my right had the beefy harness bull look down pat, and his twitchy partner in the suit looked like he was just itching to chainsaw a couple of kneecaps. Other than that, everything was hunky-dory. Impersonating a police officer, huh? I guess the new Nexus models are a little more creative than the old ones. I'm a Blade Runner. You don't believe me? Call Lieutenant Guza. There ain't no Guza in the LPD. 
Unless I've been walking around in a dream, there is. That's what always bugs me. Yeah, the fact that these skin jobs always gotta live someone else's life. No shit. Just make the call, damn it. <gasps> You're just a piece of shit rep with memory implants of this Guza guy, you understand? <laughs> That's impossible. Rep ain't sounding so creative now. Huh? You wanna avoid conf me? Be my guest. <laughs> oh, very good. Very good. Very convincing. Where you been hiding? The Kipple? Gregorian bring you in? Who else is working that side of the pool these days? I don't know what you're talking about! Ah, what about that bastard selling all that stuff downtown? Hey! Shut your trap. I'll tell you something, McCoy. I don't even care how you go out. But I know you can feel pain. And on that account, I'm your man, sir. You tell me about everyone you met through cars, and I'll guarantee you will go real easy. Your breath smells like you wiped your ass with your teeth. <laughs> You're gonna wish you was neck deep in an off-world reactor vessel by the time I get through with you. Fire up the chair, Holly. You know what I'm gonna come back as in my next life? A priest. Uh, there's something holy about it. How good I am at this. Freeze! Don't even go for it! You got any idea how glad I am to see you? No time for chit-chat, Slim. You want to save your ass? We gotta blow this joint right now. What the hell took you so long? Good thing you made your entrance when you did. They must have been phony cops, hired by the reps for protection. Cops, yes. Phony, no. I remembered Baker. He used to be an SID expert on coercive technique until he was fired from the force a couple years ago. A mercenary? Bingo. He won't have to worry about getting paid no more. That girl, the one from the arcade. She's one of them. You sure? I didn't get a chance to put her on the machine. I've been sure since I heard about all those dead animals in Runster's shop. You should have whacked her when you had the chance. Yeah, right in front of all the other children in the arcade. That would have been great publicity. I bet she's still there, Slim. You coming or not? Right behind you. Just follow my lead, Slim. There's civilians all over the place. Yeah, they move pretty fast, don't they? I'll take care of it. You just cover the exit. Who's giving the orders around here? This one's mine, Steel. I tracked it, I get the kill. That time you strapped on some balls, Slim. Go for it.
I dreamed I had a dog and lived by lake. Easy money. You missed the boat this time, Slim. Hope we were right about her. I wouldn't worry about it. No matter how smart they make them, they just ain't smart enough. What'd it say? The last gasp. Something about a lake and trees. Maybe she'll see him in the next life. You're cruel and unusual. It's funny. Sometimes I actually feel bad for these poor Lolita models. You do? There ain't nothing in this world, even a skin job, who deserves to be sold into sexual slavery. That Tyrell is one sick dude. Commerce is our business. It's around here somewhere. Where'd you park it? I'm telling you, it was right here. Damn thing must have been stolen. Maybe you're living in an alternate reality, Slim. Attention all units. All points bulletin has been issued for Ray McCoy, formerly BR-61661. Confirm one civilian kill, Ezo, considered armed and dangerous. What the hell is that? Maybe they just want to bring you in for questioning. I didn't kill Ezo. Maybe they think you're not what you think you are. Are you saying I'm a rep? Come off it! The look on your face after that last one? The minute you start to feel something for skin jobs, you're in big trouble. Maybe I just got too much empathy. In all the wrong places. You want to put me on the machine? Hey, I don't want anything, Slim. You're the one they want. Detective Steele, BR-61354, report to headquarters immediately. Code blue. What are you going to do? Take me in? No matter what they say, you're not on my list yet, Slim. You know what that means. And there's no use juicing you if I can't make some honest chinion off it, you know? I never appreciated your baser instincts so much. Guza must have messed up somehow. I'll check it out, see what's going on, and then... We'll be meeting again, Slim. You can bank on it. You got a deal. I get cracking before I change my mind. Good God! Your old fogey stuff makes me want to spew. Excuse me, but I was listening to music. Geek! Hoodlum! Dork! Freak! There is someone at the door. Speak! I have a return package from Mr. Luther Lance. A return? From where? Emil Bunsitter. Maybe one of the chimps blew a gasket and tried to bugger him. They're not available. Come back later. I told you those strains were unstable. Runciter must have discovered the fakes. Relax. Runciter's a simp. Not even old man Tyrell could have spotted those beauties. 20th century like a real drag man. Who the here? piss do you, you think you are? Blasting that have in a here strict like a couple no of goddamn policy. cowboys. <laughs> Gentlemen, take a moment to evaluate your situation. Look, there's very little to steal here. If you can haul out one of the statues, be our guest. We look like thieves to you, man? Uh, no. You look like a couple of goddamn... <laughs> Take a good, long look. Aha! Just the people we were hoping to see, right, Lance? Huh? Nexus 6? And you came to us. Return to you, my brothers. To ask your help. Unfortunately, we don't work for the Terrell Corporation anymore. You've been continuing your research, I trust. Yeah, of course. Something drives us on. The common bond. Can you have greater miracles than these? Brothers, my brothers, take a good, long look. Oh. My. God. Well now, shall we begin? You wake up one day and find it's all been a dream. Or you wake up and discover you've been asleep all the time and the nightmare is real. I didn't know what it was. I didn't know who I was. A cop dangling on the short end of the stick? Or a rep whose memory banks had run out? One thing I was sure of was that I didn't kill Izo. That I know I experienced. 
and this misinformation, maybe it was the key to everything that was happening. Maybe there was a lot more than what met my eye. All I had to do was stay alive long enough to find out. I'd seen chairs like this one before, and not just in my recurring dental nightmares. It was an old-time LPD soothsayer, a torture device used to elicit confessions out of hardened criminals. Its use had been banned for 10 years now, but most cops knew it hadn't totally disappeared off the face of the earth. I'd seen chairs like this one before, and with it's but most. Someone had really torn the place up. If it had been LPD, the real LPD, they would have confiscated the entire stash. Instead, Ezo's off-world weaponry was still there, but all the police-issue firepower was gone. A little light started to flicker in my brain. 
Guza was the one measuring me for the frame. He set up a black market network, moving surplus LPD weapons through Ezo and the Green Pawn. Nothing wrong with a little graft, but when I started stirring the pot, the heat got too intense in the kitchen, and the sweat started coming. The picture was still a little blurry. Guza must have had some connection to Clovis and his group, even though he always claimed to have hated replicants. He wouldn't have helped out any skin jobs unless they had something really juicy to lord over him. Hmm. The trash had been collected. I'd screwed up, plain and simple. Your floor number, please. McCoy, 88F. 88. Thank you. Where's Maggie? Where's my animal? Step off, my foe. Ain't no Maggie here. She was here last night when I left. You got the wrong place, Jack. Hey, man, I live here. I don't know what you're speed loading, and I really don't care. Wait a minute. I got no problem icing you if that's what you want, Jack. Your floor number, please. Ground floor. <laughs> 